Good morning. My name is Caitlin McCormick, and I'm a student at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. First, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for having me speak here today. Not many people who are willing to stand up for what they believe in have an opportunity to speak out for those beliefs. I am fortunate enough to be able to share my experiences here today. I'm here now for justice, because lately I've seen many unjust things. In early October, I had the privilege to visit a town in West Virginia with many other students. We visited one of the many areas of Appalachia where the destructive practice of mountaintop removal coal mining is taking over and rapidly deteriorating an entire region. Standing at the top of Cayford Mountain, I looked down at what was once lush forests, a home for many creatures, a playground for people, what was once a majestic mountaintop, and I felt a knot form in my stomach. I overheard someone from our group relate seeing this barren mountain to seeing a person's broken bone exposed, and I suddenly understood the sickness I was feeling. This was not something any of us were meant to see. My heart was heavy, and I was overwhelmed. However, this was nothing compared to the sadness I would feel when a little girl whose elementary school built 300 feet away from a coal processing plant and directly below a dam containing tons of coal slurry would look up at me and say, all of us kids are getting sick, but they won't build us a new school. It was nothing compared to what I felt when I listened to families tell me they suffer chronic illnesses because every breath they take is tainted by pollution. But even worse, it was nothing to how I felt when I saw the red polluted water that runs from the tap. How is anyone supposed to live without clean water? Who is letting this happen? An entire region is being disregarded because the rest of our nation is dependent on coal. Not only is this environmentally unjust, it is socially unjust. We all have a right to turn on that light switch, but we have a right to use these everyday commodities without worrying that by doing so, we are putting someone else's life in peril. As Americans, it is our civic responsibility to respect our people and our land. It is our civic responsibility to take care of our nation. But as human beings, it is our moral responsibility to be just and fair. Standing here today, I feel like a child telling her father that someone has been unfair and asking him to make it better. I shouldn't have to tell anyone that our actions are unfair. As a nation, we should always be striving for fairness, working to right our wrongs. Instead, we are creating more problems and more injustices. It is apparent that I am not the only person who feels this way. There's a movement happening. Youth everywhere are recognizing our world's energy crisis, and we are stepping up to fix it. Students across the United States have been working on sustainable initiatives for their campuses. Campus Climate Challenge has united 300 universities to work on 100% clean energy policies and progress towards sustainable alternatives. Frustrated that our government won't recognize the crisis we are facing, as youth we are stepping up to make positive change where we can, starting with sustainable campuses and moving up from there. This weekend has been monumental. Over 5,000 students have traveled here today to work towards a just energy future. We are all here for the same reasons, with the same goal in mind. And for the first time, we have been able to unite, learn, teach, share, and construct numerous methods to initiate and implement sustainability. On our campuses, in our communities, and across our nation. PowerShift is giving thousands of students the knowledge and resources necessary to implement these changes and continue to empower other students. This coming January, more than a thousand universities will simultaneously educate hundreds of thousands of students on solutions to global warming during the first ever Focus the Nation event. This event will be the biggest national teach-in in U.S. history. 
Educating and developing thousands of young leaders on solutions to global warming, Focus the Nation will be critical to the start of 2008. Unique to this event, Focus the Nation will connect faculty and students to build a better future together, bridging a generational gap that has not been connected since the civil rights movement of the 60s. Something big is happening. Our generation has realized the challenge ahead, and we are stepped up to the point. The movement is here, it is now, and the youth won't back down until our voice is acknowledged and action is taken. I care. I care because this is my future. This is the future of my children, the future of our home, our health, our happiness. I care because if I don't, who will? This is why we all care. We will not sit by and watch as the place we love, the place we call home, is driven into the ground. Today I'm asking you to recognize what is happening. This movement is big and it will not dissipate. We don't want to be dependent on unrenewable resources. We don't want to oppress any more communities. We have made our voices clear, and we are continuously striving to become louder than ever. It's time our government take action and join us. Thank you.